bro. Hey, you are. Morning friends, welcome to your human pet ramble. Coming at you today on this wonderful long weekend here in Canada, walking Chula, heading down towards Macaulay Point. Figure I'd talk a little bit about uh, the service I provide for this family, how it helps save them some expenses uh, over the long weekend rather than paying for boarding. Meanwhile, they ensure they get the quality of care for their troubled animal that she deserves. Chula is a beautiful blue nose pit bull rescue. I'm not 100% sure of her history. As I was not hired for training, I did not ask past the point of what her triggers are. Now, generally, Chula is beautifully well behaved with humans, but is reactive. This way, Chu. Come on. Good girl. Reactive to dogs. And on our past walking adventures, she was also a little bit reactive to loud noises, such as buses. She is always in front when walking, but as long as she doesn't pull me around, it is acceptable. Again, I'm just a walker. I'm not trying to change behaviors. But when I have the dog, I can't help myself but assess what's going on. Because I'm interested. How those gears are turning. Are they turning? What's causing them to stop turning? How can we re-lubricate them again? As you can see, Chula is very sniff oriented. Come on, honey, let's keep going. Good. And the owners have asked that I keep her moving for these walks because she tends to put on the brakes and sniff right at about the moment she would be working herself up to start having any sort of energy burn. Um, Chula seems to be able to truck along at a faster pace than I can walk comfortably without ever even breaking a sweat. Um, yeah, it's, it's amazing how much energy this little pit bull has. So we're doing hour walks and they originally called about doing sittings and after realizing the cost um, they had arranged for their mother-in-law to watch the house, watch Chula, but because of Chula's pull and her strength, and then the concern the family has about her reactivity, relevant to, you know, handlers, reactivity could get away on you if you don't know how to handle it, and uh, have the physical strength to deal with it when something does happen. Come on, Chu. Keep coming, hun. Good girl. They contacted me to do the sittings, decided to have the mother-in-law do the house watching, and I am hired for two walks daily, one in the morning, 8 a.m., one in the evening, 8 p.m., uh, to try to tire her out for mama and uh, get her, her bathroom time, adventures, have some fun away from the home. Now, it has allowed them to save at least compared to my fees for an overnight sitting, a fair amount. Uh, it's almost almost half the cost, uh, considering that they would still want her out for a good hour walk. They would have to pay for the extra walk plus the sitting. It's not 100% ideal in any means to have to have someone else come to your house to be able to walk your dog. Um, when you're going away, but you know, I'm extremely flexible with my services, so I have no problem helping a family out, especially on a long weekend. Like, no questions asked, I booked it, no extra charge, you know, 
regular fees, long weekend, whatever. I'm just here to kind of spend my time with animals. If you guys are willing to pay me, that's, that's all just icing on the cake, if you ask me. Compared to our first couple walks a few months ago now, Chula is doing a lot better with her reactivity. I notice two buses pass without so much as a glance. About to have a truck pass. And same thing, she doesn't even glance. The animals passing by seem to get a glance, but not so much as a, an ear raise, more, more a side eye, just kind of communicating, stay over there and we're good, which is great. Um, don't really remember her having too much of an issue with locking on and not disengaging, but if you came around a corner and got eye to eye, she definitely would have a reaction. Feel as if that might actually be improving. Um, having passed one dog with about eight feet between us, and uh, yeah, Chula barely even gave a, a side eye, which was you know, really good for her. From from where I remember she was on our first couple walks, however. Again, not really working on behaviors, just kind of doing what I can while we're out to, to manage and avoid any situations. I'll hopefully encourage a little bit of socialization. And said hi to a couple humans, that's for sure. Well, that's it for this one. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you appreciate what I do, share help get the word out it's a wonderful wonderful long weekend easter long weekend i hope you enjoy yourself and uh do let me know how your good friday went much love guys